Trick-or-treaters beware a haunted backyard is also serving up some scares this evening at the historic home of Lonnie Hammer near Flamingo and Sand Hill. Orco Mana transformed into a disco king of the 70s to check out all the freaky frights. I'll need a hand from one of you. And a hand. From clowns to cobwebs to creepy critters. The historic Hammergren home is turning this Nevada Day tradition into a night of frights. There's a lot of places to hide. Amber Fredericks won the property at auction two years ago following Lonnie Hammergren's financial troubles. We try really hard to put the scary stuff up front. While this haunted backyard is a nightmare for some, it's a dream come true for Amber. I'm happy that I get to take over this tradition and Lonnie said there's no better person than me being a crazy pink haired lady to take over the tradition from him. <laughs> And it's not just Amber serving up the tricks and treats. The whole neighborhood is pitching in to make this a spectacular Halloween. It's a beautiful nightmare from flank to brisket. Amber's neighbor Roger has created a wild web at his house and is helping dish out some danger at Amber's. We've all kind of found each other and work together to create this kind of odd community that we have. Providing frights into the future while not forgetting the past. The whole reason I wanted the house was to keep the history of the house alive. <laughs> Orco Mana. <laughs> Eight News Now. We're told the haunted backyard is meant for all ages, and you can also trick or treat for some candy. The event, of course, happening right now. It'll go until about 9:30 this evening. Final note here: you can't go into the actual Hammergren home; it's only the backyard. So, who is Lonnie Hammergren? He's a former lieutenant governor of Nevada, a retired neurosurgeon. He also sat on the University Board of Regents for some time. He estimates he had spent about 10 million dollars on all the memorabilia inside his home.